AirPods Max. Yep, here they are. These are them, all $549 worth. Well, you have the cord and the case, and, and here you have it. Apple's first AirPods brand over-ear headphones. Now, when Apple first announced AirPods Max, I think consumers and tech reviewers alike were a little sticker shocked by the high price tag. When you think of premium noise canceling headphones, you know, you think of Bose and Sony and those models that cost $200 less than AirPods Max. No, AirPods Max are in the price threshold of professional caliber headsets, as some people have already pointed out. And while I don't think actual audio editors are gonna start jumping at AirPods Max for their work, I must say they do feel, sound, and perform pro, or should I say max. Now, starting with design, AirPods Max are incredibly comfortable. I wore them for several days straight and they sat balanced and, and comfortable on my head. I did notice that they're a little bit heavier than the Bose 700s and the Sony XM4s, which bothered me more when I was moving around, but not when I was sitting at my desk working or on the couch watching something. And of course, part of the design is this magnetic smart case, which has received a lot of negative criticism, but I'll be honest, I kind of like it. I mean, in terms of saving space, this holster definitely does that. Um, the only thing I will say is that I don't feel like this is very protective. Like I wouldn't feel comfortable just throwing this in my bag along with the rest of my other shit. Spatial audio is basically a form of surround sound that supports Dolby Atmos and uses head tracking to make sure sound is relative to what you're seeing on screen. Now this comes in handy when you're watching something on a TV or on your phone or iPad. And I have to say it's been a total game changer when it comes to watching content uh, with, with over your headphones on. Now the important stuff, sound. If you want sophisticated, AirPods Max is it. Music sounds crisp and spacious, and the AirPods Max succeeds in creating a complex soundstage with your ears at the center of it. And that's before getting into spatial audio. Now, spatial audio, in my opinion, is the killer feature here. Yes, you're getting noise canceling and transparency mode, but Bose and Sony headphones have that, and I could even argue that they do it better. But spatial audio is that unique feature that makes AirPods Max stand out. Now, the fact that AirPods Max works so seamlessly with the rest of my Apple devices is a major plus. Um, setup and handoff work very smoothly, and it's no surprise that the more Apple devices you have, uh, the more holistic of experience you can have with AirPods Max. With that, you're also getting Siri, which isn't my favorite voice assistant, but when it comes to answering texts and phone calls, it's extremely helpful. And on the topic of phone calls, I must say AirPods Max uh, has a much clearer quality than even AirPods Pro and, and other um, headphones in this category. Last but not least, let's talk about battery life. AirPods Max is rated for 20 days. Bose is also rated for 20 days and Sony is rated for 30 and we know this, um, but what's weird about AirPods Max is that there's no on and off switch and hello, like the most fundamental feature of any device should be an on off switch. Uh, that said, AirPods Max doesn't experience crazy drain. I left them out for like 10 hours and it only experienced about a 5% drop in battery. So. Uh, there is a redeeming quality to that. There is a lot more to know about AirPods Max, so I recommend checking out my full review if you're wondering whether you should buy a pair for yourself. At $549, these are not an impulse purchase, but they are a luxurious one. And luxury isn't always better, you know, form over function and all that. Still, if you ask me, AirPods Max have the look and sound to make them worth it. Thanks for watching, this has been Kate Kozich. Thank <laughs> you.